birding is like anything else in life. The more you do it, the better at it you get. While practicing and time in the field will certainly help, there are some specific things that you can focus on that will improve your skills quickly and efficiently. If you want to know what to work on and how to become the best birder you can be, this is the video for you. Here are five things you can do to make yourself a better birder. Get used to range maps. One of the first things to do to improve your birding abilities is to understand which birds are most likely to be in the area you're searching in. Having a good baseline knowledge of what species will be expected to be around while you're birding can make it easier to identify birds since you will know what the most probable species are. For example, if you were to see a shrike in Canada during winter, the assumption would be that it would be a northern shrike, since the loggerhead shrike's winter range doesn't typically extend that far in the north. Another example would be a meadowlark seen in Virginia. Based on range maps, it's fairly safe to assume it would be an eastern meadowlark, since the very similar looking western meadowlark isn't normally found that far east. While birds do show up outside of their normal range, and therefore range alone shouldn't be used to identify birds, it can go a long way in getting you on the right track to a positive identification. Upgrade Equipment It's totally possible to go birding without any equipment at all, or go with a simple pair of cheap binoculars. However, some more advanced gear can make things a lot easier. Getting a better pair of binoculars can be a big advantage because of increased zoom potential and clarity. Other items can also be a major boost to your birding efforts, such as spotting scopes, that will allow you to get an up-close look at distant birds, especially when there are big groups of them together and you want to pick through each individual. Also extremely helpful to have is a camera. It doesn't have to have a massive lens, but something that at least allows for a dock shot to be taken to review birds you couldn't identify in the field, or prove to others that the rare bird you found was correctly identified. In all, Getting even just slightly better optics and camera equipment can go a long way in helping you hone your birding skills. Consider the habitat. Habitat plays an extremely important role in determining which species will be in a certain area. Knowing the preferred plants or terrain of a particular bird can make finding it much easier. Furthermore, having a good understanding of the habitat birds prefer during different times of the year can provide clues about which species to look and listen for when visiting a new place. For example, as their name would suggest, marsh wrens thrive in areas with shallow water and thick vegetation, so if you are in a marsh in their native range, it would pay to keep an eye and ear out for this species. However, it wouldn't make as much sense to be looking for a rock wren at the same location. Birds certainly show up in weird places from time to time that don't fit with the habitat they usually prefer, but for the most part, knowing the habitat a bird is most likely found in can make any birding trip much more efficient. Learn the field marks. Knowing what specific physical traits to look for such as shape, proportions, and colors can be instrumental in identifying birds and streamlining the identification process. For example, a small group of birds flush from the side of the road and into some brush. White markings are visible on the tails of these birds. Knowing that dark-eyed juncos show these white flashes, it's easy to determine with only a second's glance that these birds were in fact juncos. There are many similar markings and colorations that can be used to identify birds, even with just a quick look. But in addition to these things, behaviors can also be quite telling. For instance, in the world of warblers, only a few of them that live in North America bob their tails frequently, including palm warblers and water thrushes. Seeing this behavior can easily eliminate most other warblers as possibilities for the bird in question, thus making things much easier. Gaining a greater understanding of different birds' field markings and behaviors comes with time in the field, but can also be learned from experienced birders sharing their knowledge and are sometimes even mentioned in online or print resources as well, such as field guides. Know your calls. In my opinion, the single best way to improve your birding skills is to learn the calls of birds in your area. Birding by ear is an extremely valuable skill for a variety of reasons. First, it can save time as instead of chasing down birds making calls only to find there is something common that you've already seen, you can decide what they are without even having to look at them. 
Another reason knowing bird calls can be extremely useful is because it makes it much easier to identify flying birds. Oftentimes you may not even realize a bird is flying over, but hearing the call and identifying the bird from that instead of sight can add birds to your list that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to correctly identify, or maybe even wouldn't have known were there at all. Knowing bird calls can also help pinpoint birds of interest to get a better look at them. When searching for a specific species, it always helps to know what it sounds like and can truly make the difference between an awesome sighting and going home without spotting your target bird. It's extremely rewarding to improve your birding skills, while simply going out and birding more will certainly help. Focusing on these things will dramatically elevate you to the next level. Are there any other things you found helpful to improve your birding skills? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.